Hello my lovely Taurus, I hope whenever you're watching this you're having a great day today. My name is Rachel and welcome to your weekly tarot card reading. This is for all Taurus, Sun, Moon and Rising, so please take the energy that resonates. If it doesn't resonate then please leave it where it is. Okay, we are going to do a general love reading for you today Taurus. No specific question, just in general what is happening in your love life right now and what you need to know. So before we do that, let's put an oracle card from Work Your Light Oracle Deck from Rebecca Campbell. It's a lovely deck, one of my first ones I bought. Okay, Angel Spirit guys, what's the love message for our lovely Taurus this week, please? What's the love message for our lovely Taurus this week? What do they need to know? What? Okay, that's too many cards, thank you. Can you just give me one card, please? What do our lovely Taurus need to know about their love life, please? Okay, thank you. Okay, you have the initiation, the rite of passage, you're going somewhere sacred. So I feel for some of you, this card is saying, well, on the bottom of the deck, sorry, we have trust and niggle. What is the niggling feeling trying to tell you? That you've gone through a, pe a, a period of stagnation in your love life, like nothing's really kind of moved forward or anything. You've just, it's just kind of been stuck. I feel that you've had um, a few relationships that hasn't worked out. Some was mutual breakups and some was a little bit more hard hitting. Um, but I feel that this period is about to start to change. You're about to come out of the darkness into the light. I feel that spending some time alone has helped you uh, connect with yourself and get to know you. And now you're ready to start dating again and meeting someone i feel that you have gone through for others of you sorry i feel that you've gone through um a dark period in relationships you could have come through a really bad breakup which has made you be on your own or it could be the fact that you've just continually had failed relationship after failed relationship and you can't figure out why well the in initiation is that this is coming to an end this cycle of bad relationships is coming to an end and you're going to start coming into the light. You won't meet the person you're supposed to be with straight away, but it's not going to be as hard hitting relationships as you've had in the recent past. You've also got trust and niggle. So I feel that this is saying that when you go on dates, when you're, if you're going out to meet new people, I feel that the universe is saying, trust your gut instinct. If your niggle is saying, mm, I'm not sure I want to go down this path, then don't go. You know, trust yourself, trust the niggle, trust your in intuition on this one. Okay, trust yourself. I feel like in the past you may have been, you may have trust, you may have had the um, gut feeling that the relationship wasn't right, but you carried on with it anyway, and that led to you having a bad relationship. So I feel that you've learned all the lessons that you need to learn and now when this comes up again when this happens again and you have a relationship and it doesn't feel quite right then trust your nigga or trust your intuition it's there to guide you your choice is to listen to it or not but it is there to guide you so let's go into tarot we're going to do a horseshoe spread and we're going to see what's going on in your love life taurus okay so we have ten of pentacles the Emperor and the High Priestess, the Devil, oh my God, lots of major arcana cards here, the Nine of Pentacles, so you've got ten and nine, wow. Um, the Five of Pentacles and the Six of Cups <laughs> and a new beginning on the bottom of the deck. Okay, so in the recent past, you've had the Ten of Pentacles. In the recent past, I feel that you have felt um, that you've experienced a, a long-term relationship. You had a long-term relationship with someone that didn't quite work out, but I don't think it ended particularly well for you. Um, it wasn't a mutual breakup, like we've just grown apart and we still love each other, but not in, you know, it wasn't that kind of relationship. I feel that it was very long term, it was very secure, very stable, and then all of a sudden it just kind of went wrong. And that's why you've been very closed off um, lately. But I feel that you have had a long term relationship and that 
and even and you thought it was the one you thought you were stable you thought you were secure and it just ended very quickly with no kind of idea no you just no idea that it was going to happen it just all of a sudden just boom gone and i feel that that has obviously that has affected you but this is what the initiation is that was the dark period that you're in you're now coming back into the light so in the present moment you have the emperor so i've got two energies here the first energy i've got here is that you are taking the lead of your own life you are being very strong very firm but fair now with yourself and with people that are coming into your life it's like you have um boundaries you know what you want you're there's a there's wiggle room but i feel that you are very much you know if you can't offer me this i don't want to know if you just want a bit of fun i'm not interested if you want to see if there's something more and build something let's see let's go on dates and get to know each other i feel that you now know what you will not expect accept in a relationship you're not it's like i'm not accepting that if you're going to treat me that way i'm not accepting it for others of you, I feel that you have an emperor in your life right now, or they will very soon be coming into your life. A very um, leadership, strong, authoritative, um, father figure energy. Um, doesn't take no shit from no one. Knows what they want, goes for what they want. Can be a little bit cold at times, but very, very loyal. Um, I'm very, very trustworthy. They're very protective of the people that they um, love. They're very protective of the people they have in their life. And I, I feel that for some of you, that's you. And for some of you, that could be somebody that's in your life right now or coming into your life in the next, in the next few weeks, I feel. So the hidden influence here is, yes, it's the High Priestess. And that goes very well with the um, Trust and Nickel card that you had before. So the hidden influence is saying to you, trust your intuition. That you know yourself and you know that niggle, you, that little feeling that comes up when you meet someone. You know that feeling and you choose to ignore it. They're asking you to trust it. The hidden influence is you know whether something is right or wrong, so you need to trust yourself. You have a lot of wisdom and a lot of, a lot of knowledge and I feel that you've got that from experience of bad relationships. So you know what's right and what's wrong. But sometimes you can allow your heart to take over your head. And I feel with the High Priestess, they're saying to you, sometimes we need to trust our head over our heart and you need to listen to that intuition. So I feel that's the hidden influence you've got there. Um, the challenge that you have, the obstacle for you to overcome is the fool, uh, the devil, sorry, oh, the fool is not, the fool is the new beginning, the devil. I feel with the devil that you are um, keeping yourself trapped slightly and by this I mean that you're keeping your feelings very closed off and you're kind of challenging people when they come towards you. I feel you've got to let it down a bit but still protect yourself. I'm also getting the energy here that there may be some kind of addiction in this relationship or that you have seen to pick the people that have addictions. And that doesn't necessarily mean drinking drugs. It could be addictions with food, social media, um, work, whatever it may be. But I feel that you attract people that have um, addictions or it could be you that have the addiction. Like you could be a workaholic, you could be like a big massive fitness freak. Whatever it is for you, there is some kind of addiction that you need to overcome or you need to start saying, do you know what, if you've got this problem, then I just can't be in that because I've had to deal with that so many times that even though I think you're a wonderful person, I just need to step away from that because that's not healthy for me. And I feel this is what your obstacle is. Either you constantly pick people who have got some kind of addiction or you are choosing or you're the one that has the addiction that you need to kind of overcome so that you can have more space to allow somebody in so however people perceive you is the nine of pentacles the nine of pentacles is a very independent card um financially independent very career minds i feel that you 
in this time where you've been in the darkness, where you've been working on yourself, you've been working on your career and your success as well. People see you as very independent, like nobody, she doesn't really need, or he doesn't really need any help from anyone. They can pretty much sort stuff out for themselves. So if you do go to someone for help, they know that you actually need that help. They see you as strong, um, successful, independent, and somebody you need somebody in your life that's just going to be just as strong as independent as well so the best path for you to take is the five of pentacles i feel the best path for you to take right now is to um if you've got any more healing or grieving to do over the lost relationships that you've had i feel that now is the time to do that now is the time to uh, let go of the past and it's time to um, make sure that you are healed so that when you meet somebody else, you are going into that relationship um, from a scar and not a wound. Uh, if you're going into a relationship with a wound open, it's going to bleed all over them. But once you've healed and it's a scar, then it's just a war wound that you can talk about and you can move on. You can give yourself fully to this person. So I feel that the best path for you to take now is to make sure that everything that you have lost in your past with relationships that you're healed from so that you can move into the right direction, ready for uh, your new person that's coming in, which could be this emperor, power, emperor energy. And then the, finally, the best outcome, the final outcome for you is the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups is about generosity. I feel that somebody is going to come in. It could be the Emperor Energy. It could be somebody else who wants to uh, give to you. Um, I feel like you've always been the giver in a relationship. You've always been the one to change. You've always been the one to adapt. You've always been the one to um, compromise your wants and your needs for the other person and I feel that the outcome is that you need to continue to do that but the person that's going to come in is also going to be doing the same to you so that's going to feel a little bit odd at first and a little bit weird like what's this I'm not used to it keep going with it because this is the person that you're meant to be with so this is the person that's going to give to you not just like their heart but everything like physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, in all areas, they're going to be very giving and supportive and loving to you and you're going to be the same. So let's move into some, um, maybe not all of those cards, shall we? I'll take the three on the table. Well, there's actually four. Okay. So we've got these four cards here, so let's see what we have. Okay, so the first card is acceptance. Is the key, acceptance is the key to inner peace. At times we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. Yeah, I feel that is what you, with the five of pentacles, that's the energy here. It's about accepting the fact that this happened, it helped me grow and evolve, it sucked, but it happened. Freedom. There is nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. The, the path is open, ready for you to have a new relationship. Are you ready? You may feel that you're not, but sometimes with the full card on the bottom of the deck, we just need to take a leap of faith sometimes. Embrace. Through each other, you find the missing pieces. This new energy that's coming in for you, Taurus, you'll find the missing pieces. This person will help you find the missing pieces of their journey and you're going to help them find theirs, the Six of Cups. And then the last one, it is important right now to take a step back and spend some time alone. Instead of placing your focus on the never, now is the time to give to yourself. Five of Pentacles. You just need to make sure that you are healed, ready for this new Emperor energy to come in. And on the bottom of the deck, wow, we have forgiveness. Stop focusing your energy on past events. Your life is too precious to waste. You create your reality by what you think, dream and imagine. Wow, yes. They're saying basically here, Taurus, to focus on yourself. Heal the wounds so that you can love from the scar. Because I feel that somebody is waiting for you. They may be an emperor power, a very leadership um, power. 
Um, it could be an Aries or Capricorn. Because the uh, High Priestess is Taurus, that's your energy. Tor the High Priestess is your energy. This is Aries energy and this is Capricorn's energy. And then the Pentacles is also Earth energy. So that's Virgo and Capricorn. So you could be dealing with somebody with one of those signs in their chart. Okay, before we wrap up this reading, let's uh, get some answers from the Angel Answer Oracle card deck. So think of a couple of questions you'd like to ask the angels. If you'd like to know where I get all my cards from, I have linked them in the description box below. So please do go and check them out. And if you'd like a personal reading from me, I now offer them through my Etsy site. Um, so if you'd like to have a personal reading done, please do go and check out my Etsy site and book in. I'd love to do a reading for you. And also don't forget to hit that like, share, subscribe and that notification bell. Um, it will notify you every single time I upload a video and it will really help me grow my channel to reach more people and hopefully give them the clarity they need at this time as well. And also, very quickly, thank you for the 500 subscribers. My son was extremely happy that we finally hit the 500. Uh, so thank you very, very much for all those that have subscribed to me so far. It means a lot to me. Okay, so Angel Spirit, guys, what's the answer to our lovely Taurus's question, please? What's the answer to our lovely Taurus's question? Show me what we need to know. Anything else? Anything else? I don't think there is. I'll do one more. Okay. Right, the first one is don't stop. So maybe you feel like giving up on something. Like maybe you feel like giving up on love completely. I feel that you need to move past what you have gone through and heal that. But I don't think that you should give up completely yet. I think there's someone out there waiting for you. You've also got take action. Okay, so some of you may be already ready to start dating again, but don't know where to start. Go out, socialise, online dating if that's your thing. Not personally mine, but that's just my personal thing. Uh, preference but if you want to go out in the dating world if you're ready go on online dating if you if that's what you want to do maybe go out with some friends more go and start a new hobby go and socialize and see and uh, take action towards it and then finally on the bottom of the deck we've got ask your angels so if you're not sure ask your angels ask them for a sign if if say to them right, if i'm supposed to do this show me a ladybug um or show me um a white feather whatever it may be for you uh, mine's birds. Every time I see birds fly over, I know that the angels are speaking to me and answering my question. Um, they will answer you. If they don't answer you, that's their answer. So sometimes we ask for the sign. They don't show you the sign. Then you've got your answer. Okay. That's all I've got for you today, my lovely Taurus. Thank you for spending that time. I really do appreciate it. I hope something resonated with you. If it did, then please write it in the comment box below. I read and respond to all my comments. I'd love to connect with you all. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button um, as it reaches more people in the world of YouTube to hopefully help them in their time of need as well. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a great day today and enjoy the rest of your week and I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.